Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Q1 FY22 earnings conference call of Cupid Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchdown phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Binay Sarda from Christensen Advisory. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thanks, Stephen. Good evening to all of you and thanks for joining this Q1 FY22 earnings call for Cupid Limited. We have mailed the results press release to you. I hope you have received the same and we have also uploaded this on our website and the stock exchange. To discuss the results and address the queries of the investors, we have with us Mr. Om Garg, Chairman and Managing Director of the company. Mr. Garg will give a brief overview of the quarter gone past and then we'll open the floor over to Q&A session. I would like to remind you that everything said on this call that reflects any outlook for the future or which can be construed as a forward-looking statement must be viewed in conjunction with the uncertainties and the risks that we face. These uncertainties and risks are included but not limited to what we have mentioned in the prospectus file, SEBI, and subsequent annual report, which you can find on the website. So with that said, let me hand over the call over to Mr. Garth. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Vinay. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Cupid Limited, I would like to welcome you all for attending the uh, Q1 FY22 earnings uh, conference call today. I hope by now you had a chance to review the financial results we had published last night after the board meeting. So I will not be repeating those numbers again. Instead, uh, we will be going directly to the question and answer session. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. A reminder to the participants, anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one at this time. The first question is from the line of Shubhu Muruk, an investor, please go ahead. Hello sir, thank you for taking my question. Um, my first question is um, on the South African order. So, if you give an, if you can give us an update on uh, what is the status and how much are we expecting when we are expecting the results, uh, that would be very helpful. Okay, we had uh, discussed this matter with the government people yesterday, and they have indicated that most likely by the end of August they should be declaring the results from the last. Tender. And uh, we are expecting an order between 60 to 80 CR uh, each year for the next three years. Okay, and how much of this would be male uh, condoms and how much of it would be female, sir? It will be two third female and one third male. Okay, and we will get this uh, for the next three years. So, so like this tender is not for this year, but it also covers uh, the next three years, right? Uh, or will we again have a tender for next year again? Yeah, it's a, a, a three-year tender, correct. Okay, okay. Uh, and um, any news on like the Brazilian uh, tender, sir? Uh, do we have any updates on the um, on from like Brazil? Uh, Brazilian uh, tender has been postponed to early next year. They had to uh, 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 reorganize their uh, funding for the procurement of female condoms. So it, it has been delayed uh, by a few months. 
Okay, and uh, uh, and how much is the is the overall tender size in from like Brazil, sir? That we are uh, the overall size, and how much do we expect to get? They have not indicated yet what would be the volume of uh, 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 business they would be uh, tendering for. Uh, they are assuming that uh, it would be uh, about same as we had last year. Okay, sir. And uh, and and like lastly, any updates from 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 the IVD devices um, front, sir? If you can give us an update on what has happened and uh, what is your expectations for the future? Yes, uh, we can all the construction work uh, uh, for the IVD project at Nasik has been completed. And now we are in the process of installing the equipment there. And also, uh, we are in the process uh, of applying for the uh, licenses with the drug controller of India. So we expect all these, these formalities uh, to be over by September end. And hopefully, the commercial business would start from uh, October onwards. Okay, and uh, and how much are we expecting uh, to do this uh, from October, sir? Uh, from October to March, uh, how much do we expect from from like a revenue and a profit perspective? Uh, it's uh, uh, on some of the inquiries we have had and the market report, we are expecting uh, uh, about 30 CR business between October and March. Uh, depending on the uh, situation with the third wave of uh, COVID-19. Uh, lately, uh, uh, the demand has picked up. So uh, we really don't know the more, a more precise number, but tentatively we can say uh, at least 30 CR. Okay. And, oh, and uh, what margins are we expecting, sir, on this? About 25%, 20 to 25% margin. Okay, sir. Thank you. And and like last question is on the US uh, uh, FDA front. Do we have any updates, sir, uh, um, on on like the female condom entry into the US? So uh, uh, we should be submitting our uh, formal application uh, uh, in January, February. Uh, after the uh, clinical trial study is completed by the end of this year. And uh, we are hoping that uh, towards the end of 22, we should have uh, the decision from US FDA about approving the stupid female condom for uh, uh, marketing. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All the best. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Rohin Joshi from Raj Enterprises. Please go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you for taking my question. Uh, some of my questions have been answered. I had a question pertaining to IVD front. So in the current uh, product mix, we see a contribution of 12% from IVD sale. Now, uh, given our revenue, that should be around four, between four to f uh, five crores. So have we managed to break even on that front? If so, what are the margins? Uh, that is the first question, followed by uh, what our utilization is looking like, and uh, are you considering a buyback option? The margins on IVD is between 20 to 25 percent is what we are expecting. Okay, so in the current, uh, as I see in the current revenue, there is an IVD sale of 12 percent. So for this particular result, I am assuming that it's four to five. So the sale revenue for this quarter is four to five crores. So it would be 20 to 25 percent of that amount. Is that correct? Yes, the commercial production will start from up forward at the IV plant. Uh, the business we did in the last quarter was uh, 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 was uh, uh, was uh, done through uh, uh, outsourcing. Oh, 
Okay. So, uh, what were the margins? If you can help me with that. I'm sorry. Uh, please say it again. Uh, so, uh, I just wanted to have an understanding of margins for the outsourced one. So, yeah, outsourced one was about uh, uh, 15. Thanks. Okay. Okay, thank you. And uh, sir, what are the current uh, capacity utilization percentage? The capacity utilization for uh, male oh, condom uh, during this quarter was 73%, and for female condoms it was uh, 92%. Uh, Perfect. And was uh, down due to lockdown uh, uh, during May and June. Okay, thank you. And uh, sir, with the rubber prices uh, in the short term, uh, fall, we, because we have witnessed uh, that uh, rubber prices have softened a bit, do you see margins improving in next couple of quarters? Uh, or, do we have, or, or do we already have enough inventory that is going to be carried on to the next few quarters? Yes, we, uh, we expect to continue the options at least at the level we did it during the last month. Hello? Are you audible? Yes, sir, you are. Oh, okay. Mr. Joshi, you have any other questions? Uh, I, um, I didn't actually get a response, or maybe I missed it. I'm, I was not, I was not able to hear what was said. You can just repeat your question, please, sir. Yeah, sure. So uh, my question was regarding the rubber prices that have uh, been softened. So we can see. Uh, 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 can, so the question itself was that: Do we see that margins improving in next? two or three quarters, or do we already have inventories from the previous producers? So I wanted to have an understanding that the prices of the, the prices that have been lower in terms of that, yeah. In, in terms of the latex price, uh, there, there, there has been an increase of between 20 to 30 percent from the previous quarter to the quarter. Uh, we, we have some uh, inventory, but now that the monsoon uh, season is almost uh, over uh, down in care, we are expecting the, uh, to come to the normal level uh, before the monsoon. So we are expecting some uh, uh, lower price for the rubber. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that answers my question. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Naveen Kumar, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Um, hello, good evening, sir. Uh, thank you for taking my question. So uh, my question uh, like, is primarily a suggestion as well. Uh, so two years back, uh, you mentioned that you would try to promote uh, executives to participate in the con call, uh, but we have not seen participation from the executive uh, lines of uh, since then, uh, can we expect uh, executives to be more active uh, in the con call going further? Yes, we, we have been working on this, and uh, hopefully we would have uh, 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 another couple of people uh, 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 trained to handle these calls. Thank you. That would be all from my end. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. The next question is from the line of Onkar Gukar Dari from Shri Consultancy. Please go ahead. Yeah, have we found any CEO for your post? Well, there has been no uh, 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 update since the last meeting. Uh, however, now we are concentrating on the IED project. Uh, 
for the uh, more for a more rapid growth of profitability at QP. So, so is it the fact that the company is very small? That's why people are not interested in joining this, or what is happening? Because we have been doing this work from last, I guess, if I remember correctly, from more than two years now. So, what is the real reason behind it? Well, one could be the availability of the candidate, the uh, experience we are uh, looking for. Uh, uh, should have not only international marketing level, but also the financial background as well as the operating experience in the preferably in the condom line, contraceptive line. So it seems like there are not many people available in the country. Is it out of 135 crore? If you don't find a single person, then it is difficult, right, sir? Well, we uh, uh, we are always looking for it. So we have talked to few people, but they were not found to be satisfactory. No, I mean, it, your company is situated in Nashik. Is that the reason people are not interested in coming there or working there? Or what is the reason? Yeah, a couple of, yes, you, you are right. A couple of people have indicated that they would have preferred to be located in uh, Bombay instead of Nashik. So now what is the plan on that front? Or that is completely out of the woods now? Or uh, out of the question now? No, like we say, we will uh, continue to look for a suitable candidate. But in the meantime, we have full experience team. Uh, they are working on the uh, 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 project. And in, and in addition to the contraceptive business, we are uh, expanding our IVD program, uh, so I expect the business to uh, to be uh, making steady progress uh, during rest of this year and in the coming uh, few years. Okay, so the next question is on the succession planning, sir. It is related to this, but I mean, what's your vision two, three years down the line for Cupid? I mean, do you plan to... I mean, exit this company or sell this company to anyone, or you plan to keep this company running like the way it has been running. So what's the vision for this company? Well, we are always uh, looking for better opportunities. Uh, uh, so we, we have a plan to run it for next uh, two, three years at least. But then as the situation arises, we will take appropriate action. Mm -hmm. But there must be some vision from from you, right? So how you plan to go about this? If the if you get a good deal, then you, would you be selling it or have people approaching you or you are approaching people? What's the thinking behind this? No, our our objective is to achieve the top line of two hundred crores in next three years. We have a clear, we have a very clear objective of uh, extending the operations of this company. Uh, we already have the condom business, and second vertical is IVD. Uh, we are investigating uh, the possibility of adding a third vertical, hopefully starting next year. So the the uh, company business will be growing as we move forward. And our uh, target, as I mentioned, is to achieve uh, close to uh, rupees 200 crores within the next three years. And the next vertical you were talking about, which would be that? What? We are still investigating. Uh, uh, one area we are looking at is uh, sexual well related uh, area, uh, but uh, uh, we are still uh, investigating the, the best possible uh, vertical to select. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohawk, an individual investor. Please go ahead. 
ஹலோ ஆம் ஐ ஆடிபிள் எஸ் ஐ யூ ஆர் யா ஆக்சுவலி மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் மை क्वेश्चंस ஹேவ் बीन आंसर्ड द मेनली वाज द सीईओ सक्सेशन and second thing was about the promise that you said you will be uh, bringing on more management persons in the conference calls so it will be helpful because as investors we will also be able to know that there are uh, you know proper people with the adequate know how of the business who will be handling in the future and sir about the uh, ceo position uh, uh, do you have any timeline in your mind like by when you will be able to get a proper ceo for your company one as, as soon as possible we are always uh, looking for the suitable candidate yes sir but still it's been 2 3 years so within next 2 3 years can we expect a ceo for the company Yes, 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 definitely we can expect one. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mukesh Rai, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Good evening, Gaurav sir. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, one on this IVD devices. So, we did uh, somewhere 3.36 uh, cr in uh, last quarter uh, do we have some break up of that on what part of that is related to covid and uh, what is uh, other than covid is rt pcr t- kits or mm-hmm. other kits no all 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 the business was done through the sale of uh, antigen uh, rapid test kit at the sincha uh, we have not added any new product uh, during the quarter however we plan to starting from october uh, test kits for uh, malaria uh, dengue and uh, pregnancy test kit in addition to the antigen uh, rapid kit for covid and uh, second one was on the overall world scenario where uh, we have another competitor uh, that was veru in female condoms and uh, there have been uh, uh, news roaming around like they are willing to sell that business uh, are we interested or any uh, are we exploring that any acquisition because we have cash on books so either go ahead with some buyback or something or uh, we expand the business acquiring other uh, similar business do we have any plans or any discussions internal discussions going on within the management or somewhere well i am not sure which company is on sale which one you are referring to it's veru veru which has a female condom business and that is the only one competitor for us in uh, across the world v e r u yeah we have uh, contacted vero uh, and uh, the response was that uh, they are not ready to talk to uh, uh, cupid at this point so we assume that they are negotiating uh, some kind of deal with uh, another buyer <laughs> do we have any idea who can be other because we know only two organizations across the world for the female condom business one was cupid another was veru so if they are negotiating the third one that could, that could be our perspective competitor uh, in near future uh, do we have any idea on that no we we really uh, don't have any idea now who could be the that interested party it could be one of the major uh, male condom uh, uh, manufacturers maybe like durex but we really don't know who they are talking with currently okay and uh, coming back to the order book sir uh, first time in uh, last 3 4 years 
roughly i can say our order book has gone in uh, two digits so as of now it stands 85 cr uh, are we expecting uh, uh, any um increase in that in maybe uh, q2 itself or somewhere or uh, this 85 is going to be uh, till our uh, current fi Yes, we uh, uh, currently our inventory is 85 CR, and we are expecting a major order from uh, South African government, uh, which has been delayed. Uh, we are expecting that to be at the end of August or latest by mid September. And as I mentioned earlier, we are expecting uh, approximately 60 to 80 CR of orders. Each year for the next three years. Okay, so if we get this uh, end of August or September somewhere, uh, will it be for current FY? Are we going to deliver that in current FY, or it will be for next uh, uh, twelve months kind of? No, the the uh, dispatches uh, under the new tender would start from January one, twenty two. 2022, and it would go up to December uh, 24. So in Q2 and Q3, that's not going to impact us? No, for Q2 and Q3, we already have 85 CR orders to process, mm -hmm. and a small quantity of orders are coming in between as well. So we have enough orders to do Q2 and Q3 very easily, even Q4. Uh, orders we would have by that time. UNSCA orders have been trickling in uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, breakup of that uh, expected South African order, sir, in uh, male and female condoms? Uh, it will be, we are expecting about two thirds of uh, female uh, order and one third of male condom in uh, and so this two third is uh, based on uh, quantity or based on uh, order value, sir? Order value of eight. Order value. Two third order value. female, one third female. Value, total value of the allocation. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for uh, answering my questions. Okay. Have a great day and have a great Q2 ahead, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mantosh Kumar, an individual investor. Please go ahead. So this is regarding IVD uh, segment. Uh, as of now, if I go to the Cupid website and uh, and try to find the information regarding this, there is no information whatsoever. Uh, so I was just curious that uh, like uh, it would be good uh, that we can. Uh, we we can plan to update our website with with uh, with this segment and uh, what all things we are planning to offer and 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 like 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 other products we are offering in future. Yes, thank you, thank you for the uh, uh, good suggestion. Uh, we are planning to add a section uh, on on IDD uh, project. Uh, in the next couple of months to our website. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Krishna Singh from RM Services. Please go ahead. Hi, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I have a couple of questions. The first question is, what is the expected customer acquisition rate for female and male contraceptive in Latin and North America market? I'm, I'm sorry, could you please repeat your question? Uh, yes, sir. So what is the expected CAGR and customer acquisition rate in the Latin America market for this company? In the in Latin America? Uh, yes, like Brazil and the market we are recently working in. Well, uh, uh, Brazil, uh, we are expecting uh, 
a repeat tender uh, to be floated uh, early next year and we are expecting a uh, uh, business from that uh, related to female condom like we have been uh, supplying uh, uh, female condom in brazil for the last two years in addition uh, we have registered our male condom in the brazilian market further okay uh, we are in the process of discussing uh, uh, some new order to sell male condom in peru and we have uh, registered our fitted uh, brand in argentina so we see some good opportunity in latin american countries uh, going forward all right so do you mean there is a untapped potential in the latin america and uh, african market right yes yes we do and my next question is sir what are your plans to compete with the brands like mankind menforce or any global competitor i'm sorry what are your plans to compete with the mankind or menforce or any global competitor in this uh, market of contraceptives so we are uh, we are already competing for the last so many years uh, our uh, profitability is one of the best amongst all the other manufacturers and uh, okay. they are only in the business of male condom while uh, cupid uh, is producing uh, not only male condom but uh, female condom as, as well as uh, lubricant which have been on uh, uh, increased demand lately so uh, uh, we we are uh, uh, very well uh, equipped uh, to compete with any of the other indian male condom manufacturer so are we looking to penetrate in the retail business in india or expand digitally or pick and store kind of business no the, the reason we are not aggressively pursuing the male condom sales in india is because the margins are lower in india due to competition as compared to the we get in the export sales okay all right sir that's my question yeah thank you thank you The next question is from the line of Dipesh Sanjeeti from Mania Finance. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, I hope you are in good health. Um, just a couple of questions. One is a question which uh, the previous participant had asked about the company which is being uh, which is on the block. Uh, did we give any uh, valuation to it? Uh, did we? Uh, I mean, and, and on what basis? Uh, how much value did we give the company for? Uh, for the purchase of that company hello no, in there uh, yeah yes uh, uh, i assume you are talking about veru uh, yes. and veru pharma we had indicated our interest in exploring the possibility of uh, purchasing that company and in their response Uh, they have indicated uh, they are not in a position to discuss this issue with us at this point so based on that we are assuming uh, that that they are already negotiating with another party for the sale of uh, their business okay but did we did we do any uh, back of the envelope calculations that how much would we be ready to uh, pay for that kind of uh, for the company no they haven't indicated what is their asking price what are the assets uh, they are planning to sell uh, they have not uh, explained or clarified their conditions okay fair enough uh, and second question was uh, regarding the up uh, order which uh, we could not complete due to the covid uh, situation uh, is there any repeat orders from the up government or any state government for the rt for the rt yes, yes yes they 
there have been several requests from uh, uh, not only UP but uh, three other states. Uh, so we are expecting uh, many more orders uh, uh, during rest of August and September, uh, especially in view of the possibility of the uh, third wave uh, coming up uh, due to Delta variant. And what is the average realization are we getting for these test kits? It, it depends. It, uh, uh, it varies all over the place. The, uh, it was as low as uh, 25 rupees and as high as uh, 50 rupees per piece. Right. So, uh, and are we uh, even uh, planning to get into uh, the pregnancy test kits? Yes, we are fully equipped, and uh, uh, in fact, we have a small order to supply 100,000 pieces already. Mm. Oh, great. So that is already included in the order book of about 85,000, uh, no, no, which you have mentioned. Uh, yeah. uh, it hasn't been included yet because the uh, formal contract has not been finalized. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Shubhu Murug, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, thank you for taking my question again. <clears throat> my question is on the order book. Um, uh, can you give me the split of how much we expect to complete in each of the uh, each of the quarters? Like, is it split equally or? Uh, they will be doing more uh, in the recent quarter and less. Uh, could you just give me the like the quarter by quarter breakup? It would be uh, approximately uh, uh, 30 to 35 CR in each of the next three quarters at a minimum. And if we uh, get the order from South Africa, uh, uh, then the, the volumes and quantities will improve, especially in the uh, fourth quarter. Okay, sir. So you're uh, basically saying that in the fourth quarter we will see a significant increase because we would have also <clears throat> we will also be getting these additional revenue from 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 the IVD business as well, uh, and on top of this we could also get the South Africa order so um i guess the, the 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 fourth quarter of this year should be a um should 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 be quite good from a revenue perspective is my understanding correct yes correct as as we see it now a fourth quarter should be our best quarter during this uh, fy22 okay sir from now um, for uh, for the south african order uh, you said we will we are expecting 60 to 80 cr uh, so, how much is the total order size? Um, can I ask? No, the, the quantities they are asking uh, are one billion pieces of male condoms and forty million pieces of female condoms each year for next three years. Okay, and uh, and and what value uh, does this come up to? Uh, we don't in, know what is their yeah. total budget. We have all put in our bids, and uh, depending on the final selection, uh, we can work out the uh, total volume of business in rupees. Okay. Uh, so uh, when, uh, when you say 60 to 80 CR is your expectation, uh, I just want to understand what percentage of the total is it. So is it like is it like half of the total that we are expecting, or? Maybe eighty percent of the total, or maybe like like say twenty percent of the total. If 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 you could just give a sense of of like what percentage of the total tender does the sixty to eighty CR represent? Would you know? Or you no, know, like I said, okay. we we can uh, uh, we can only uh, uh, make a uh, uh, kind of uh, crude estimate. Depending on the price, uh, 1 billion male condoms and 40 million female condoms. I would okay. say the volume we are expecting are uh, at least 
of the female condom business and maybe about 20% of the total male condom business in terms okay. of uh, quantity okay that is very helpful sir so uh, and and because um, veru uh, is probably putting their uh, that company on sale would would that help us in the south african tender at all because uh, if like one of our major competitors is is basically going through like an acquisition process uh, would that help us from the south african tender perspective do you think uh, we we really don't know what would be the impact uh, as of now veru has uh, uh, active, actively participated in the tender and the results are expected by mid september so depending on their negotiation with the uh, uh, potential buyer of their business how they will handle that south african order but i don't expect uh, much help to cupid as we cupid would get its own independent uh, quantity allocation from the tender okay sir um and and my last question is on on this ivd devices the last time we spoke you said that uh, we also looking at some tie up with some international companies um so apart, apart from the domestic front are we planning to sell this ivd in the international markets and uh, if you can give us an update on on on, on how promising that looks that would help well uh, we have uh, contacted uh, many potential uh, uh, buyers from uh, countries like uh, south africa uh, and uh, brazil and uh, most of the uh, countries especially in africa they are looking for uh, test kit not only for covid but also for uh, malaria uh, dengue HIV and even uh, uh, pregnancy testing. So uh, uh, I think the demand would be quite high, and uh, of course, uh, uh, more uh, companies in India are planning uh, to start IVD business. In fact, you must have seen the report that uh, three or four companies are planning to bring. Uh, uh, uh the uh, ipo uh so it all indicates to us that the demand is growing and uh, uh uh we expect good business going forward okay sir thank you very much thank you hmm. the next question is from the line of anand bir singh an individual investor please go ahead yeah hi can you hear me Yes, sir. Okay. Hi, sir. Uh, my question was: You have the vision of hitting uh, 200 crores revenue in the next two or three years, uh, and you also mentioned three uh, sources of revenue. One was uh, the condoms, both male and female. The other is the medical devices, and the third you're exploring. So I just wanted to know uh, uh, what the breakup would look like when we hit that 200 crores revenue, and what would the margins be? We pretty much know the margins. in the condom business ranges between 20 and 30% so what would the contribution of the condom business be to the 200 crore revenue and the other two streams and what kind of margins can we expect thank you yeah. uh, currently uh, uh, it seems like the out of 200 crr uh, condom will business will generate at least 130 to 140 crr and the balance uh, uh, 60 to 70 cr would come from the ivd business where the margins are between 20 to 25% as i have indicated earlier uh, so the condom business will actually degrow because we've been doing about 150 crores for the last 3 years and you expect that to come down to about 130 Well, 130 CR is a minimum business we are expecting, uh, uh, and the reason for that is that 
we don't know the nature and the size of the uh, big tender which may come up. The government budgets have not been finalized. Uh, so 130 is minimum. We could very well achieve between 160 to 170 PR only from condom business, depending on uh, some of the new uh, uh, size of the, some of the new coming up tender. And what about the third line, uh, which you're exploring yet? We are, in general, uh, uh, we want to expand the uh, company's operation. And uh, we, uh, uh, we see that uh, ultimately uh, the profitability in the condom business uh, has some limits. So if we want to grow to a company to a, at a higher level, uh, uh, we have added uh, this IVD project, which, uh, uh, depending on the market demand, uh, could very well contribute uh, uh, a big chunk to the top line. But we are still not satisfied with our expansion plans. We want to grow this company very rapidly in many areas, multidisciplinary, and in that, uh, towards that effort, uh, we are uh, looking at, to add a third line, a third line of business, another vertical. And we are uh, still exploring what kind of uh, business we should get into. Okay. And that can be done from Nasik, or is there plans uh, uh, to expand out of Nasik then? Depending on the business. Uh, uh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Onkarji from Shari Consultancy. Please go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to know your thoughts on how you plan to utilize the cash. And there have been several occasions where you have said that you would be considering a buyback. So what's the status on that? Okay, the, uh, our uh, current priorities for cash are number one, we have this uh, 10 CR uh, capital expenditure uh, for IVD uh, project. In addition, we need additional uh, 10 to 15 CR in increased uh, working capital. Therefore, uh, we have not yet decided on the buyback. Uh, depending on our cash flow for next year, we will take a decision on that. Yeah. Of, course, of course, we are planning to, uh, of course, we are planning to continue uh, uh, on paying the dividend to all the shareholders. So recently there have been oh, acquisition by this Equity Intelligence India Fund. So uh, did the management had a meeting with the, uh, the fund and what would be the vision you would have shared with the fund? Which fund you are referring to? The Equity Intelligence Fund. Uh, it's owned by Porinju Veliat. Did you have any conversation with the fund regarding the vision of the company? No, 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 no discussion yet. Because it's it's there in the BSC data that the fund has acquired stake in the company. Uh, could you please clarify that a bit more? Yeah, there have been uh, bulk deals uh, reported by BSC that this fund, Equity Intelligence Fund, has acquired a small stake in Cupid Limited. So just wanted to know about yeah. this. Yeah. Well, we, we welcome their uh, investment. It indicates their uh, uh, confidence in the management of Cupid Limited, uh, we are always willing to discuss it with them further. 
However, at this point, uh, we have had no discussion uh, in this regard. So you, you haven't had any discussion with the fund? I'm sorry? So you haven't had any discussion with the fund? You are talk, saying? Yeah, not, not directly. We uh, read the information, uh, what you have indicated in the publication, and of course we have uh, uh, seen uh, a, a good chunk of uh, uh, amount here uh, uh, from the open market. Okay, in terms of the promoter stake, what would you like to do with the stake of this company? Would you like to increase, sell, or keep keep at this rate only? We, we are open for discussion as far as the promoter stakes are concerned. I'm personally, I'm talking about you, sir. Do you plan to add any kind of shares from the open market or you plan to sell them in order to reduce your sell, uh, in order to reduce your stake in the company? So what's your thought process behind this? Well, uh, currently uh, we have no uh, major plan in this regard. Uh, depending on the situation, uh, uh, we would take an appropriate uh, decision. Our mind is open on this, uh, but currently uh, we are not thinking about either selling our shares or adding more shares at, at the current time. So if you are not planning to add any shares, then oh, how come you are thinking about the buyback, sir? If you are thinking about it, as you have already indicated this. No, the, the, the buyback will be a general offer, uh, uh, which could include us as well. So there is no commitment there. It, it would be a general buyback offer to all the shareholders. No, but buyback generally comes when the promoter sees value in the company, right? He sees growth in the company. Yes. So, so that's what you are like saying, I right? Earlier, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, please go ahead, sir. We have not uh, taken any definite decision in this regard. Okay, and this Brazil order you are saying, when could we expect this, sir? And how sizable it would be? Again, we have not taken any decision. Depending on uh, the uh, uh, opportunities available. No, but there would be some uh, expectations from your side, right? How much it would be the order from the Brazil front? No, Brazil tender, as we have mentioned, would be similar to the last uh, uh, we had, uh, uh, about uh, 25 to 30 CR business from Brazil uh, uh, female condom tender. And I already mentioned about the South African tender expectation, 60 to 80 crores uh, per year for three years. In addition, there are several other tenders uh, uh, are expected to be published uh, from other countries, uh, including Tanzania, India, Kenya, and also uh, from United Nations uh, Population Fund. So depending on their uh, budget allocation for this year and next year, uh, they would be announcing uh, their uh, requirements. Okay, just the way these two countries have sizable order in our order book, is there any other country which generally gives this kind of huge order? Yeah, the, the largest buyer of uh, condoms uh, uh, is uh, South Africa, uh, and probably the second largest uh, is uh, Brazil, uh, and then 
uh, third largest would be through uh, uh, UNFCA. They buy uh, condoms on behalf of several uh, countries worldwide. And India, of course, is also a major buyer of male condoms. But uh, for last uh, few years, uh, they have slowed down for some reason. But we understand that now uh, there is again a push for the population control in the India. And India is also expected to come out uh, with a major uh, tender to procure male condoms later this year. Okay, so out of this 200 share order, uh, I mean the revenue projection you talked about, how much would be the contribution from female and male? Contribution from? Uh, female and male, sir, in terms of the total revenue you talked about, 200 share. Uh, well, if assuming the total uh, uh, condom sales is about 150 CR, out of the total 200 CR uh, top line, we would expect uh, at least a 50 CR worth of female condom. It could be higher depending on the size of the order. And the balance will be male condom. So out of 150 per order you are expecting 50 CR from female and 100 CR from male? Yes, let's say 50 to 70 CR from female and 80 to 100 from male. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Mohawk, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for taking my question. Sir, I wanted to ask uh, the this year's projection from the management for the top line and the bottom line of the company. FY22. We are expecting, uh, uh, yes, uh, FY22 we are expecting to end up approximately 170 CR uh, with the top line and with a 25% margin. Uh, but sir, uh, this year we are expecting 170, but after three years also we are expecting 200 only. So is it not a slow growth, you can say? No. The reason I am saying uh, a minimum of 200 in uh, three years, okay. Uh, okay. our effort will be uh, to achieve 170 in FY22 and uh, exceed 200 in FY23 itself, or in other words, in next two years. But uh, uh, to be conservative, I am quoting a number uh, for top 200, 200 CR top line in next three years. In, in actual practice, it could be more in, in FY24. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. And sir, you have been running the company very well and we wish you the best of health and the best of the future for the company as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for your comments. As there are no further questions, I now hand the conference over to the management for their closing comments. Over to you, sir. So, uh, uh, we would like to thank uh, all the participants at this uh, earnings uh, conference call. And uh, on behalf of PC Limited, I would like to thank all the shareholders uh, who have supported the uh, management uh, uh, during that time uh, throughout our 27-year history. In addition, also, uh, we would like to thank customers who have shown confidence in our pro product quality uh, uh, through their uh, repeat orders uh, for many years. Uh, some of the customers uh, have been with us for over 10 years. So we would like to sincerely uh, uh, thank all our customers. And uh, uh, finally, I would like to thank all the employees of Cupid Limited uh, 
uh, who have worked uh, diligently and sincerely uh, throughout the year uh, to improve the performance of uh, Super Limited. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Cupid Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you all for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.